Here is another skin tumor. You could see that. All these little nests look like tumor nests. You can also see that they appear like they invade into the deeper parts of the dermis. So the instant algorithm that should appear in your brain when you see primary skin tumors of epithelial looking origin is that are they squamous, are they basal, or are they melanoma? Basal cells are without a doubt the most common. Squamous cells usually make keratin in some way, shape, or form, and melanoma is often pigmented, usually pigmented, in the tumor cells. This, they are all related to sun exposure. So many, if not most, or all of the common skin tumors are in areas where you normally have sun exposure. But that doesn't help differentiate them, does it? Let me show you one thing that absolutely is characteristic of just about all of these tumors, though. Do you notice that in the normal baser layer of the skin, there is kind of a palisading of the basal cells? In other words, they're kind of lined up like soldiers again, as compared to the non-palisading growth formation of the more superficial cells? Well, look at all these tumor nests. Do you notice that in the tumor nests, there's that same palisading appearance there and there and there and the basal cells of normal skin palisade and that's why this is a basal cell carcinoma whether these are in balls whether they are in big balls little balls hot dog shaped things whether in their sclerotic nests they generally have palisading in their base and they may not look very very malignant from the start and you may see other areas in them that look like they are more keratinizing but the classic of appearance, you won't see these in squamous, you won't see these in melanomas, is the palisading. And we could go to just about any nest here, whether it's superficial or deep, and you could see the palisading. And here's an irregular nest, but it's still palisaded, isn't it? That's why this tumor looks very, very blue. And of course, it doesn't make too much keratin. Uh, but any primary... Uh, skin tumor, epithelial tumor that has these, you could even see the palisading from this edge uh, power, can't you, in here. Any primary skin tumor which has blue palisading nests, I'm going to stick my neck out here, is a basal cell carcinoma. Like the squamous, they don't metastasize, but the melanomas do. Sure, they could have some keratinized material. Sure, they could have some pigments. But remember the palisading. Thank you very much.